All these citizens help me vanquish evil. Welcome to the credits video for Let's Play Death Spank. <laughs> I'm Burning Dog Face. And, uh... You know, like I said at the end of the last video there... I really, uh, enjoyed this game overall. And the last boss being unfun to fight does not change that. I mean, I did feel the combat got kind of repetitive after a while, but, uh... There's an impressive number of game babies, considering you know, the, this is a small-scale game. hell kind of an ending was that? That's a story for another time. This is not actually a true story! <laughs> oh, I really like that. I really like that. Sorry about that. Okay. Summing things up. Uh, some of the quests were easier to figure out than uh, opening a door. And uh, some of them were so obscure that even with all three hints, I didn't know what the fuck I was doing. But uh, all in all, I really enjoyed this game. What's that achievement I got? Take back the night. Kill Lord Von Prong. Did I miss any? Do, 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 do. No! I got all of the uh, achievements! Wow! <laughs> that never happens! Huh. I was mistaken. The, uh. There's a, an achievement for finishing 50 side quests, but not one for finishing all of them. Well. Oh, I just noticed, that's really funny. Uh, one of the guides available for this game is just called How to Kill Lord Von Prong. That's really funny. <laughs> Yeah, overall, I really enjoyed this game. I thought it was much funnier than I was expecting. I was kind of under the impression from reading reviews that this is one of those games where it's funny, but it's only funny enough to make you sort of uh, exhale through your nose, if you know what I mean. Or it's like something funny happens and you just go... <laughs> I don't know if that picked up in the mic or not. Um... But I really enjoy the ridiculous character of Death Spank himself. Uh, this Michael Dobson guy did a fantastic job with his voice acting. Uh, I liked the weird art style and how crooked and odd everything looked. Uh... I really liked the item descriptions. That was probably the best part of the entire game for me. Just the, the, the goofiness to all the items and the descriptions and the lore. Uh, not to mention that some of the things I was being asked to do were just patently ridiculous. Go put this relish on a turnip so that a unicorn will shit, and then collect the shit and bring it to me. <laughs> oh. Yeah, this game has its rough edges, and I understand that uh, the sequel came out so close after this one that it doesn't really fix many of them. But, uh, yeah, I enjoyed this enough that, uh, I will be down for more Death Spank. At some point, I'll be checking out the sequel, Death Spank Thongs of Virtue, a title which now makes considerably more sense. I'm already looking forward to finding out what the fuck was up with the, uh, World War II era battlefield I found. But, uh,. Yeah! 
that will about do it. I recommend this game. Unless you actively dislike uh, ARPGs, or you don't like, you know, funny games and you prefer your games to be serious, uh, I recommend that you play Death Spank. You know, wholeheartedly. Just, uh, make sure you get all your fun in before you go to fight Lord Von Prong. That being said, uh, I'm Burning Dogface, and on behalf of myself, the mighty hero Death Spank, and scores of weird and wonderful characters we met along the way, I thank you for joining me for Let's Play Death Spank. I hope you've enjoyed this series, and I hope you'll join me for my next one. I hope you'll enjoy me. Is that what I said? Whatever. I hope I'll see you around. Till then, have yourselves a great day, Burning Dog fans. Later! <laughs>